Yeah, yeah. So how long did it take you to do something like this? And even the other pieces that 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 we we're, we're seeing here. This one took me a couple days to do. Okay. You know, I have actually done things in like 30 minutes. Okay. I have done things from like 30 minutes to like weeks. Okay. It, dep it depends. So did, did this one here take weeks? This one took this one took me a couple weeks because I didn't I didn't really have no desire or I didn't have an idea of what I was doing. I just kind of built on it. Okay. Then I started drawing it. And then kind of, and it started to come together, and I'm like, okay, I can see where this is going. Okay. Now, is this piece for sale? This piece is for sale. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is for sale. Uh, and what are the price points on this piece? Um, or have you established it? I haven't established it. Literally, when I bought it here yesterday, I had just, just, just dry. It. it was okay. still a little wet. Okay. It was still a little wet when I bought it here yesterday, but somebody did offer to buy it yesterday outside right on the spot. And okay. I did get his name and number. We did exchange information. So I told him when I was here done today, when I was done here today, that I would call him and we could I could sell it to him. Okay, oh, that's great. <laughs> so, yeah. I, w I wish you all the luck. I yeah. wish you all the luck. <laughs> now, with with any of your pieces, not just these three pieces yeah. here, um, do you are, are you just doing originals or are you doing prints? Um, are you in, in, into the market of printing? I'm going to be doing both. Okay. I'm gonna be doing both. I'm do, I do T-shirts, hoodies. Okay. You know, I I am my own canvas. Yes, yes. I am my own canvas. So I'm gonna show up as the art, as the canvas. It's everything that I do is a part of me. So I'm gonna be doing prints, uh, originals, hoodies, T-shirts, whatever okay. it is that inspires me. That's art. That's what I'm gonna be doing. All right, all right. <laughs> now, um, last but not least, we we have one more here. So um, this one share, is share, share your information. This one is about also this. texture, and I and I coated it lightly, and I really coated this one very lightly, um, because you can't touch it. It's very textured, but I wanted to make sure that the embellishments did not come off. This one is called "Everything That Glitters Is Gold." Okay, <laughs> and and how did you come up with that? You know what? I was just like because you know it just. It just made sense, and I, you know, sometimes, like I say, it just comes to me. Some, and I was just was like, I, you know, came with a couple of different names, like uh, everything I touch is gold, and I was like, no, and it's like everything that glitters because it glitters, it's gold, it's kind of shimmery, so like everything that glitters is gold. Yeah. So yeah. I just use these different gold flakes, gold, copper, silver, and um, you know. Okay. So I just yeah, I, I I like all your work. I like these three you. pieces. I like other work that I've saw saw of yours. Yeah. But I think this one here is my favorite. Thank you. And, and the reason why is because <laughs> how how in depth the texture is yeah, on yeah. this piece. It's textured. I use modeling paste. Will do that. Uh, spackle. Okay. I've actually worked with spackle modeling paste. Um, I'm working up to build a sculpture. I've never done one yet before. But I think if I started, I'm like, if I started on the canvas to do a sculpture or textured on a canvas, I can work my way up to an actual sculpture. Okay, okay. So now explain to the audience the process of doing something like this with, how, with all the detail that you have in it in regards to the texture. Okay, so yeah, the texture is modeling paste. So, um, and I actually put the... You actually just go about, you know how, let me tell you how you, there's a, uh, um, <laughs> there's a tool that it looks like a comb, it looks like a hair comb, and it just has, it's kind of like a little flat piece, okay. but it has these ridges on it. Okay. It looks like a comb, and then you take the, 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 and then you just like scrub it, pull it, 
you pull it across. You pull it across and then you get the desired the the desired uh, sculpture if you want to say the desired image image that you want and then I started adding the glitter in the gold in the, the Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing open for all of your art needs. Located at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue, open Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now featuring African-American and contemporary artwork for local, national, and international artists. Your local shop for masks and statuettes, mud cloths, royal cloths, and salt lamps. Call 414-444-5166 or follow their Facebook, Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. the actual glitter in the, the pieces in it so then I started like pulling them through it so that it could be like the, even throughout the, the texture okay. so it wouldn't just be just this big textured piece once you get your desired place of where you want the texture to be then you can just build on it okay now um, did you also put a glaze on here I, like did. You did. I did a very light okay. one very I did a very glaze. light glaze so that um, even though it's textured, you can still touch it, but then the pieces won't come off. Because I do it with a lot of like um, embellishments and things like that. Um, sometimes it may have been whatever it is. I didn't want, I don't want the, if somebody buys it, I don't want the glitter to come off all over their house. Because if I would have not, at least put a light coat on there to just make it look still great. It's still great, but it stays like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's going to still stay great forever. Okay. Like, you know, it's never going to come off. Now, is this piece for sale? <laughs> that piece is for sale. Okay. Okay. That piece is sale for sure. Yeah, yeah. So how long did it take you to do something like this? And even your other pieces that, that, that we, we're, we're seeing here. This one took me a couple days to do. Okay. You know, I have actually done things in like 30 minutes. Okay. I have done things from like 30 minutes to like weeks. Okay. It, dep it depends. So did, did this one here take weeks? This one took this one took me a couple of weeks because I didn't I didn't really have no desire or I didn't have an idea of what I was doing. I just kind of built on it. Okay. Then I started drawing it, and then kind of and it started to come together. And I'm like, okay, I can see where this is going. Once I started drawing it, and then I could see where it was going. Even when it was just blank, when it was black and white, before I even added the color. But when you add the color, it just comes to life. It comes to life. When I started adding a little bit of the color, I started to see it come to life, and I got excited about it. <laughs> and then I just kept building on it. Then I would come down every day, and I would look on it, look at it like, what do I do today? Okay. If I felt like I wanted to do something to it, I did. If not, I'm just, if I didn't feel nothing, I just walked away. Just walked away. Just walk away and leave it. And then I'll come back when I'm just, and then I'll just finish it up like, okay. wow. And here it is. All right, and then um, this last piece. How long did this um, one take? You? I would say that one took me about. I would say it took me about a week to do. Okay. Only because you want it to dry really well um, after you add the texture, and I wanted it to actually have an image of like it's really golden, like it's golden, mm -hmm. like it's gold, like this is golden, and. And they really have an image of like everything you touch is gold, everything that glitters is gold. So I really wanted to to show that it's real glitter. That I really wanted to show that it's glittery. Right. I didn't want right. to say everything that glitters is gold unless I can actually show that it's glitter. That it's glitter, exactly. <laughs> and I, you can actually I, see the shimmer in there. So I just wanted to show what I was trying to express. Okay. Okay. That's my thing. Like yeah, I really yeah. wanted to show what I'm trying to express exactly. and, and show what I feel on the inside. Right, right. And you did a great job Thank at, you. Um, with all three of these pieces. So Thank um, you very much. So yeah, Virginia, we um we here at um um Greenwood Park and here at the Artist Connection, we really appreciate you. I appreciate yeah. you. I and appreciate we, this opportunity. Yes, and um we we really like your work. Now can you tell the audience um, where they can reach you at um, your, your well you know you can reach me on Facebook at Virginia Gibson um, my page is going to say canvas by Giovanna you can also reach me at Instagram canvas by Giovanna the number nine all right any Instagram any um... Instagram canvas by Giovanna in the number nine and Facebook is Virginia Gibson okay all right Thank you so much, Virginia. Thank you. We, we really appreciate you. We support you. 
Um, we support all artists. Local I appreciate artists, the support. Um, I really do. Yeah, yes, indeed. And you, you just stay focused and continue to create. Absolutely. Yes, yes. It's, 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 it's what I'm here for. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs>